We're chatting with Broncos sixth round pick Natane Muti. First off, congratulations and welcome to Broncos country. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm excited to be a Bronco. Yeah, how are you feeling? What are the emotions going through your head right now? Yeah, I'm just excited right now. It's a lot of mixed emotions, so uh, I can't really tell how I feel. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I excited to be a Bronco. Yeah, a little bit speechless. Too, too many emotions to feel. Yeah. I can't yeah, even imagine. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> what was your first initial thought when you got the call and saw that it was from Denver? Man, I was just chilling. I was watching the draft, and then I, I looked at my phone, and it was ringing. It said it was a Colorado number. And the first thing, uh, Colorado never even, like, talked to me or anything like that. So I was just like, what the heck? It's a Colorado number? And then I looked at the TV. It said the Denver Broncos was on the clock. And I was like, oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and so I answered the phone, and yeah, it was the Denver Broncos, and just, I was just hella happy, you know. This is all I could ever dream of was just an opportunity, you know. I can't wait till I get to Colorado, man. I'm just excited overall. I'm just happy to go to work and just t take this opportunity that I was given, man. I'm just excited overall. <laughs> yeah. So all when right. Elway called you, what'd you guys talk about on the phone? They were just talking about how excited they are. He talked about my foot a little bit, and it was just kind of a blur to me, <laughs> pretty much. I was just excited the whole time. And just, I'm happy they gave me this opportunity. I'm happy to be a part of the Bronco Nation. Uh, I can't wait to give it my all and just get back to them, you know. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm just excited overall. So I'm happy. I'm just – I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, and I know, I know you missed a lot of the past two seasons because of an injury. How did that yeah. recovery go? How's it going? Are you ready to get back on the field? Yeah, so the recovery is going great right now. I mean, I've met with a lot of NFL uh, the NFL doctors. They said everything was going great. I mean, we had a whole workout video sent out and stuff like that. I mean, some of the numbers that I had was probably better than guards, and I've only ran it for like two times, <laughs> two times in my life. And, I mean, I had better times than some of the guards, and I feel like it helped a lot. And I'm just excited for this opportunity pretty much. <laughs> yeah, kind of expand on that. What do you think that you'll bring to the to the Broncos? Well, definitely I feel like I'm a steal. I'm the steal of the draft, you know. I feel like I'm a first-round talent, you know, all the injuries and stuff, you know, kind of like brought down my status and stuff like that. But – I'm glad that the Broncos had faith in me, and that's all I really wanted was somebody with faith in me. And I'm, I can't thank them enough, and that's all I could ever wish for. That's all I ever wanted, you know, was just a little faith. And I'm going to do my thing. That's all I know. <laughs> I, I'm going to go out there and work with my hardest, you know, learn from the old line group, you know, just being able to be out there is win some games, you know. I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see you. I know you got a lot of people there with you. Who was there when you got the call? Who have you been watching the draft with? Um, so I, I really couldn't go home to Hawaii. We moved to Hawaii, and uh, they were on lockdown and stuff. If I went to Hawaii, I would have been there in quarantine and with them for like two, two weeks. So I just stayed in Fresno the whole time with some of my teammates from Fresno. So I was just chilling with some of the closest guys I knew. And right when I got the call, I, I looked at the TV. It was the Broncos. I looked at my phone and it said Colorado. And then just put two and two together. And I was just like, oh, man, this is really happening. <laughs> and I was just very excited. I, I was just like saying, yeah, I'm just, I was just, I was super excited. I, like, I can't, I can't wait to get out there and just, you know, do my thing. <laughs> Did you call your parents right afterwards? What were their emotions since they didn't get to be with yeah, you? Yeah, so I called my parents right after. We was like uh, celebrating and stuff. Uh, I was just in tears, man. All the things that I've been through, you know, coming from a small island of Tonga to the to America was surreal, man. It was a different. It was different for me, you know. 
I got bullied a lot for not knowing English and stuff like that. You know, English is my second language, so doing better now. So, <laughs> I mean, just being able to go through all that stuff, man, not really knowing much about football and stuff like that, you know, it, it really helped out. It's just, you know, just going through adversity and stuff like that. I feel like I could go through anything. You know, just being injured those years in college, you know, I feel like I made the right choice and this is all I ever wanted was just somebody to have faith in me and just, you know, I'm going to go out there and I do what I do. Just be able to, you know, go out there and just dominate. <laughs> and look at you now, an, an incredible journey. One last question for you. Yeah. What's, what's on the agenda for the rest of the day? How are you going to be celebrating this? I'm just chilling with my teammates, man. <laughs> I'm just really, I can't really believe it. Like, <laughs> man, I, I just can't, I'm just lost of words. Like, this is all I ever wanted. It was, it was Since I got to America, I didn't really know much about football. Like I said, started to fall in love with the game. You know, my junior year is when I really dedicated. I quit track, I quit wrestling, I quit marching band. And I mean, marching band was the reason why I found out about football was throughout the marching band was because I played my freshman year and we would play through the games and stuff like that. And I would watch them play. And so that I thought it was pretty cool. And so that's when I went out my sophomore year. So uh, I'm just excited. Uh, I can't really believe it. It's just a great opportunity, man. I'm just excited. <laughs> Most of all, I'm just praise the Lord. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that sounds like the best decision you ever made moving from the marching yeah. band onto the field. But I won't take any yeah. more of your time. Thanks so much for talking with me. And uh, congratulations again. I hope we can get you out I here appreciate in Denver it. soon. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you.